Hello, and welcome to another episode of Highlight Harrison, where we like to shine a light on some local businesses in the community. <clears throat> My name is Spencer Ford, Certified Financial Planner with Conservative Financial Solutions. I also sit on the board of the Greater Harrison Chamber of Commerce, and relevant to the, to the discussion today is I'm actually a graduate of the Southwest Local School District as well. And the reason why that's relevant is because I have Mark Myers here with me. He's the assistant principal yep. of William Henry Harrison High School. Yep and the athletic director, yes. so wearing multiple hats. And <laughs> really, well, I want to kick things off by just asking you, there's been so much, especially for those who haven't been keeping up in the community lately, yeah. there's been so much going on in Southwest local schools between different buildings being built, yep. um, different things going on with the athletics. So really just, you know, maybe just take us through a little bit of a timeline and, you know, catch us up a little bit. I, I One, thank you guys for having me. I, I greatly, greatly appreciate this. Um, when I have these conversations with folks, the biggest thing I tell them when they're like, hey, catch us up on it, the word change. Yeah. I say I use that term all the time with folks. I, I, I live in the community. As we were talking before, I've been here 15 years. My, my oldest graduate, I have a freshman, I have a sixth grader. My wife works in the district. Um, her family's from here. The change piece is what's been so incredible because when I got here, again, 15 years ago, um, you know, we, we had a funny story where we said we would never play on an athletic surface that a cow couldn't eat. <laughs> and that was because it was grass. And now we're a school with the only school on the west side of Cincinnati with two turf fields. So um, it's been a wild ride. I will tell you, the last nine years as high school athletic director, um, obviously, we've seen the change with the levy. Thank you to the mm -hmm. community. They passed the levy. We've built amazing buildings. We've done amazing renovations. Uh, on the academic end, on my side, our Harrison Athletic Boosters, which you know you've been yeah. a, a part of and helped us out as well, um, that you know we essentially looked at the new facilities and said, what do we need to do on the athletic end? Um, a quick recap of that in nine years, we have done a roughly $3 million privately yeah. raised. Uh, that includes a new track, new lights, new tennis courts, grass fields, uh, for practice, irrigation, all that good stuff. The two turf fields, um, multiple small pieces. Like when you think about our press box, put a new roof on it. Mm -hmm. You know, when you sit in the press box, you don't think about the roof till it rains <laughs> yeah. and you look up and you're like, hey, I need an umbrella. Um, but we've been able to do those type of improvements, locker room improvements as well. And then last but not least, um, you know, we had an alumni that came forward, mm -hmm. Pat Noyes, class of 72, he and Cindy. Uh, background on them, high school sweethearts. Uh, Pat was an athlete here at Harrison. His wife was a cheerleader. Yeah. He graduated from Harrison, got a great education, uh, went to play at Rose Holman Institute of Technology, which okay. is an engineering school in Indiana, got his engineering degree, left there, went to Texas, got into the oil industry, and he and Cindy gifted us with the new scoreboard. Yeah. So when you drive out of here, if anybody, if you're, you're in town and just take a stroll through campus, uh, you can't miss it. Um, that came from Pat. It was a gift from him. It was a, it was a donation. Again, all the renovations we've done have been no tax dollars used. And now I've had people going, Hey, what's next? So that's kind of, <laughs> that's kind of where yeah. we're, that's kind of where we're at right now. But, um, you know, that's the quickest recap I can yeah. give you on athletics. Well, we were actually talking beforehand too about enrollment, right? Yes. And you were giving me kind of the numbers on the senior class versus the freshman class. Yeah. Um, because obviously there's a bunch of homes going in. So a lot of this expansion that's been done, you guys are going to be filling up space pretty quickly. Yeah. That kind of, <laughs> that's, that kind of takes us back to that change piece because um, last year we graduated at roughly about 250. Our senior mm -hmm. class this year is right in that range, 250, 260. Our current freshmen, 369, 370, yeah. Um, yeah. almost a hundred kids more. And then if I know if you go into the elementaries and you start putting those groups together, we're going to start tipping the scale at 400. Yeah. Um, which when they're building the homes as fast as they are in Harrison, it's making it a little tough <laughs> to play catch up in some ways, you know, making sure that we have the facilities ready for the kids. But I know our district office, our board's making a plan for that. But I think, you know, in my mind, the growth shows the progress and it shows people want to be here yeah i mean it's a, it's it's it for a long time i guess i would say it was the best kept secret on the west yeah. side of cincinnati secrets out secrets out man it's <laughs> over um and and i've i've you know i've had friends of mine that have not moved out here and they're desperately trying yeah. to because of the things we've gone on i mean it is the new building it is the academics it is the athletics it is the arts we talked about the theater next door i know we're sitting here in our beautiful activity mm -hmm. center gym but you know you and I were reminiscing talking about 
the ability of the catwalk and the basement and the dressing rooms and all the stuff yeah. the fine arts kids have. So I, I think people are realizing it's a pretty good place to mm -hmm. be. And we're excited. I yeah. mean, as a school district, I'll speak on behalf of the school district. The growth is amazing. And one of the things that you mentioned was the the turf field and a lot of those renovations were yep. privately funded. So yes. if there's someone who's looking for the opportunity to get more involved mm -hmm. with the school, with what's going on, they, they like what they see and they want to get involved. What are some of those ways that people can get involved um, through gifting, through volunteering? I'm, you know, I'm sure that's part yeah. of the thing, too. I'm um, just with what's going on in the school district and with the athletics and more. Yes. Um, great question. And I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because I know, you know, our partnership as the athletic department and our boosters with the chamber. You know, if you're a part of the Harrison chamber and you're a local business, um, the relationships that we've built from the school end to you guys, that's how we're doing all this mm -hmm. because we've been able to partner. We've been able to get um, sponsorships. We've been able to get donations, the time, energy, effort, coming to the meetings. Uh, I would tell folks, feel free to reach out to myself. Okay. Um, Mark.Mibers at southwestschools.org is my email. I'm sure you guys can share that. You could call the high school or just go to harrisonathleticboosters.com. Um, our booster group, so when you think of a booster group, it's it's your moms and dads, it's your grandmas, it's your aunts, it's your uncles. It's people that work eight hour days, show up here, come into the arena and go in the concession stand for two more hours, all to help our kids. Yeah. Um, so either one of those groups, myself for the boosters, easy contact, we can forge all the information, we can give you opportunities. I know we're gonna do more with the scoreboard, now that it's digital and we're mm -hmm. learning the process yeah. there where people can advertise, um, sky's the limit. But I, I, I can't thank you enough and, and, and you folks for getting us on here. And again, the partnership with our local businesses, that's what keeps us afloat, especially yeah. from the athletic department. Yeah. And we're certainly happy to be a part of it, too. Yeah. That's one thing I've, I was born and raised in Harrison. Yep. It's always been kind of was one of those things. Uh, really deep roots into yeah. the community. A lot of people have a lot of deep roots into this yes. community. and. There's a lot more people who are looking to move here and create those deep roots too, yep. which hopefully will provide a lot more opportunity for the community, for this school, for the yeah. children who end up attending here too. So um, just remind me real quick, what is the, um, what's the website for Southwest Local Schools? So, I mean, you can, I mean, you can go to Southwest Local. Um, again, I, for athletics, it'd be HarrisonWildcats.net. Okay, good. Um, that's probably the easiest piece, HarrisonWildcats.net, or again, HarrisonAthleticBoosters.com. Uh, anymore, there's so many sites. But yeah. If I would to narrow it down, I'd pinch it on those two and gotcha. it'd be good. And then the number, 513-367-4169 is the high school. Okay, So again, gotcha. if somebody needs to reach out to myself or our new building principal, Mr. Joe Pollitt, feel free. Um, I, I do want to thank, if I could real fast, you know, yeah. I want to thank... Shannon Hammonds, Gordon Wong. Uh, we had some folks that really stepped up to make sure our latest, again, the new scoreboard got approved. We got all the paperwork <laughs> done. You know, we, we had our T's crossed and our I's dotted. Uh, and we were able to show that off last Friday. And yeah. it, was, it was a team effort. It yeah, was yeah. us in the city again, um, which I can't thank those folks enough. And, and you as well. Like yeah. I said, you've been a part of the journey yeah. with me. You've sat in the meetings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it is cool to kind of reconnect with folks that put in the work for the kids to then come back and see it. So I can't gotcha. thank you guys enough. Oh, no, I can't thank everybody enough. Yeah, it's our pleasure. And you can find us at greaterharrisoncc.com or on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Greater Harrison Chamber. So thank you for being a part of this episode of Highlight Harrison. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.